In one week, a brand new $2 billion race course opens in Dubai to host the richest race on Earth. But today, it's still a skeleton. The floor is not finished, the ceiling is not finished, the electrical is not finished. Basically, nothing is finished. Finishing the world's ultimate race course and opening it with a bang might just be the ultimate race. Dubai. This city of giants has a new star. The Maidan race course. A futuristic land scraper that stretches 1.6 kilometers. The longest building of its kind on the planet. Stood on end, it's over four times as high as the Empire State Building and surpasses the tallest building on Earth, the Burj Khalifa. This isn't just a race course. It's five-star luxury for man and horse. Spectators can watch all the action on the world's biggest screen as horses race on not one, but two very special tracks. A brand new grass course and a high performance synthetic track. The ultimate luxury race course costs over two billion US dollars. But it gives Dubai a shot at becoming the horse racing capital of the world. In just seven days, Maidan hosts the world's richest horse race, the Dubai World Cup. Just one hitch. It's not finished. Meeting the deadline and pulling off a spectacular opening ceremony will test the world's best. That is supposed to be all the way up to that bracket there and wrap around. Okay? Project manager Ben Ko from Kuala Lumpur leads the team tasked with finishing the job. Everyone is exhausted and even the workers are exhausted. You know, but you, you've got to pull yourself together and uh, I think the key for this to achieve this is actually to, to be focused. Track supervisor Javier Barajas from Chicago must produce the perfect grass track. You can call it adrenaline, I call it a nervous wreck. Um, like every race, it's a real deep breath and <sighs> For the opening ceremony, pyrotechnics legend Phil Grucci from New York plans an unprecedented fireworks display. It's quite elaborate, and if you had to put it on that scale of difficulty, the degree of difficulty, it's at the top end of the echelon. Before the pyrotechnics, Hungarian fighter pilot Laszlo Toth will lead a spectacular air show. You need to be a bit crazy to do this, yeah. These four are just part of an international team of thousands. They'll all share the monumental challenge of completing Maidan in just seven days. OK, where are you now? High above the race course, project manager Ben faces the ultimate makeover. What's left to go? I think the major component for this area here is the ceiling, the walls, and the floors. Ben has a long way to go to finish Maidan's sky bubble. At almost three football fields long, this complex web of over 5,000 glass triangles literally hangs from the roof. In one week, this five-star banquet hall will cater to 3,000 VIPs. Three o'clock, are we taking up to this point? Yeah. Mine, mine. VIPs who've already bought tickets. Ben's team must complete walls, floors, lighting, air conditioning, escalators, toilets, and much more. All the material, right, ready? No, but uh, what about the voice? I think the major challenge for this project, everyone will agree, is the time. 
We were given so little time to complete such a big task. It's time. I think you talk to everyone, the contractor, everything. They're always bugging with you. Time. Time. Unfortunately, that's the only thing that we can't give them. Deadline has been set and we have to complete it. We complete it on time. For Maidan, time has always been a challenge. Three years ago, ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, stunned the racing world. He announced the building of a giant race course to host the 15th Dubai World Cup. The news also surprised the designers of Maidan. They'd asked for five years to turn this into this. With two years shaved off their schedule, the construction team launched into overdrive. Workers drove 7,500 foundation piles in just three months, anchoring Maidan in a sea of sand. Work then turned to the main building. With an army of 5,000 toiling day and night, this stretch of desert became one of the busiest building sites on Earth. Maidan took shape. Workers completed the structural skeleton on the 1.6 kilometers of Maidan's main building, including the 10-story racecourse grandstand and the world's first trackside luxury hotel. More than a year of building later, the greatest challenge still lay ahead. The architects designed the roof in the shape of a crescent, the symbol of power and strength in the Eastern world. Weighing more than 6,000 cars, it spans over 400 meters, longer than the Eiffel Tower is tall. It rests on just 12 supports. At each end, it cantilevers a world record breaking 84 meters into thin air. The team raised the entire roof in just three months. Using vast manpower and near 24 hour shifts, the Maidan team achieved the impossible. Now, seven days from the opening, the exterior of the Maidan Grandstand nears completion. But the interior remains a hollow shell. This room is a preparation kitchen for the whole bubble restaurant. Wall tiles, ceiling and floor. And uh, in order to close the ceiling, I've got to fix all the light points and everything. Yeah. I've got six days left to finish all this. I think we can make it. We have to put in a lot of man hours. Uh, people are working day and night, 24 hour shift, just to finish this area. I'm freaking out now, seriously. I'm very nervous, but yeah, hopefully we'll get there. Yeah, we will, we will get there. We will. We will.